ask you, did you get a call from 60 Minutes yet about picking up our show? No, I didn't. Do you have any idea why they're not calling us? <laughs> well, no, I don't. Could it be? I mean, Morley Safer's older than us. I know. That, you know, I can't stand to watch that show, but I did watch it Sunday night, and Morley Safer came on, and I'm like, my God, I got 30, 40 years left. You do. <laughs> you do. Guy looks to be about 130 years old. He's, he's been around for a while. But I'm just, still... just amazed they haven't called us. Not me either. Uh, of course, neither has Judge Karen or uh, Ozzy and Harriet or some of the other biggies. I don't know. Is that still on? <laughs> I don't. I really don't watch much TV. It shows. Uh, I don't. I listen to a little uh, Fox News in the morning, and then uh, I watch Andy of Mayberry noon through four o'clock, and then uh, Two and a Half Men comes on. And I'm uh, by ten o'clock. I'm ready for bed. Hey, I can pass <laughs> on a little information to you because most of the folks up around here have. Uh, Time Warner. Televisions. Yeah, have televisions. <laughs> even, some of them even have color. Um, I stopped at Time Warner this morning because my TV's just been going bananas for the last two weeks. And I asked them what the heck was the problem, and the gal told me that they are adding so many new channels and so many upgrades to the system that they do it in the evenings, and it's now bogging down the response time of the digital box and your remote. So you might bring up the guide, select a TV show, hit menu in order to go to that show, and it's like a 15 to 20 second delay, and that's strictly because of all these changes that, that they're making. So if you folks are experiencing that issue... Call them and raise hell. Yeah, whatever you need to do, because I mean that's kind of uncalled for. What is that? Bald eagle. A kestrel? <laughs> I, believe, I believe it is. Oh, you know, things just never cease to amaze us here at the Can-Ham building. We're watching a bald eagle fly over right now. Me he, without better my not, he better not fly over my new car. <laughs> That's all I got to say. And me without my new camera and new telephoto lens. Well, what's the matter with that? I don't Still know. Still couldn't figure it out? No, I got it. Having trouble out. with the scotch tape? I don't know. What's the problem? I've got it ready to go on this cruise. All fired up and ready to roll. Well, don't drop it. But get a little strap for around your neck. I got a nice big strap. <laughs> All right. Uh, you want to play another song? Well, I got not? some. I got some left. Here, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you pick. I got three left. You tell me which one you. No, I'm gonna read them. I'm not allowed to have the sheet. No. Uh, we have "Spirit in the Sky" by Norman Greenbaum, and that's uh, somewhat apropos because that bald eagle that just flew by. Don't You Want Me Baby by The Human League or Back on the Chain Gang by The Pretenders? Don't you want me, baby? All right. This is The Pretenders doing Back on the Chain Gang, uh, which is comes to my mind every time I think about uh, going back to work, which I'm doing. So uh, Kind of reminds me of Lucy and Charlie Brown, you know. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. I'll hold the football for you. Go ahead. Anyway, uh... Chrissy Hine, who is the uh, front person and the uh, impetus behind the Pretenders. What was that? Chrissy Hine. No, the... Front person and impetus. That one. Impetus. Oh, okay. That means like driving yeah, force or reason for being. Oh, okay. Um, I thought it was like him. I know a lot of words, Buck. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you know what they mean, <laughs> Peggy? <laughs> I set you up and you still can't do it. Anyway, Chrissy Hine is from uh, where? Akron, Ohio, uh, the capital of West Virginia, as some say. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, she uh, made quite a name for herself with the Pretenders, and later went on to marry Ray Davies of the Kinks. And uh, I think they had a lot of little Kinks, Kinkettes. And uh, anyway, here Can you get go. The Kinks out. Back on the Chain Gang by Chrissy Hine and the Pretenders. <laughs> Well, Chuck, it looks like we're coming down to the end of the trail here on this show and uh, need to wrap it up. I want to thank everybody for listening. hope everybody had a great New Year's. And let's make it even better 2011 by listening to Feeling All Right with Buck and Chuck. Well, you know what? I couldn't have said that better myself. Then, don't, then stop.
But, uh, well, okay, then I will. I'm going to play one last song, and I'm so inspired by that bald eagle that just flew by and did not go near my car that I'm going to play Spirit in the Sky by Norman Greenbaum. Please pay particular attention to the guitar work on this song. It is utterly ahead of its, it was ahead of its time and uh, has been copistrated by many other artists. I made that word up. Before I could even ask. It's called uh, art, artistic creative, artistic license. I was going to ask if that was a medical procedure. That's, that's how they're going to fix my low testosterone. <laughs> they're going to compensate me. <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> okay, folks, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you don't tune in next week, I can't blame you. <laughs> Have a good week, and uh, Buck, you enjoy your trip to uh, Barbados or wherever the hell it is you're going. <laughs>